Hey guys, welcome back to part 14 of this Django review course. Today we're going to continue building the tracking of the progress. So first I want to show the active courses in my account. So here I want to list out all of the courses that the user is currently going through. So let's go back to myaccount.view. First I can add a new data array here. Data, return, and then we here say courses which will be a list of the courses we want to show and then down here where we get the courses we can just say this dot courses equals response dot data and that's it for there next I want to import the course item component which we already have made and to do that we can just say import course item from at slash components slash course item dot view and then we just need to register it components like that so then below my account title or actually above this button here I want it so div class columns is multi-line I can close that div and between these two I want to add an HR just for some separation. And then I want a div column for the title. Div class column is 12, so it fills out the whole screen. H2 class subtitle is size 3. And your active the courses. Close the H2, close that div. And then for each of the course, I want to add a div class column. So it fills out one fourth of the screen. I'm sorry, one third. So div class column is four. Oops. And then v4 course in courses. So then we loop through the courses we just got. Now v dash bind. Because here we want to set the key to course.id because we want to do make this unique. Then we can close this. Great. And then in here we can use the course item. So course item. And then we bind the course variable or attribute or property, sorry, to course, which comes from here. Now we can just close this. So if we save now can go back to my account, refresh, and then your active courses is this one. Nice. So now I can actually see which courses I'm currently attending. So then I can go back to the to-do list and set the first task to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. Next step then is to make it possible to track the lesson start. So I want to do this by going, or when we go to the course.view, I want to call to the backend and say that we are starting this lesson. But we can begin with the backend first. So if I scroll up, I need to create a serializer for the activity. So just copy this from the other serializer so I don't have to write all of this again and then in activity here I say serializers.py and paste but instead of importing this I instead of course want to import activity model and set the name of the serializer to activity serializer and I want to use the activity model and we don't have a title or slug here. Instead I want the course, which at least will give us the ID, and the lesson, and the status, and save. So now that we have that, we can go to the views.py here, because we want to create a new view for posting information about which lesson we are starting. So at view, sorry, so at API view. This should only allow post because this is the route that you're going to visit. So then def track started request and now you can pass in the course slug and the lesson slug so we know which we are on. 
and then we can get the course from the database course.objects.get slug equals course slug let's make a copy of this because we also want the lesson lesson and lesson slug now get these two errors because we don't haven't imported this let's do it here from course dot models import course and lesson and the reason why we need this is that we need a reference to this in the in the database so then we want to check if there are any activities with the same course and the same lesson because if that's the case we don't want to create one more activity so if activity dot objects dot filter created by if this is set by the user who is logged in request dot user and the course is course and lesson oops lesson is lesson then we know that there are one at, uh, already but you also need to say count to check if there is none and if this is zero then we want to create a new activity so then we say activity dot object dot create and we say course equals course lesson is lesson and created by equals request dot user and the status will automatically now be set to started and then down here I want to get the activity connected to this lesson to do that we say activity equals and then I can just copy this because now this will return one if it's this or that like that and then we can say serializer equals activity serializer then we pass in the activity we got from the database there then we can say return response and then we can just pass in serializer.data so then we get the activity back to the front end so then we need to add this to the urls.py file so path track started but here we also need the slug for the course slug and one slug for the lesson slug and then here we just say views dot track started so now everything there in the back end is okay so now we can go to the front end in course dot view because then i need to create one function or method here down in the list of methods for before i create it i can just make a call here so at the bottom of set active lesson that is when we click one of the lessons in the list in the menu then i want to say this dot track started so then we can continue by creating this and here i want to call the back end using axios and we can call this route almost at least let's just copy this and we want to use post and we want to change this with activities which is the uh, beginning of the url i don't know why i don't have access to this yet but here we can just say this dot route dot params dot slug this will be the course slug and this we have access to but we don't need get quiz at the end there and then when that's done we can just dot then response console.log response.data and save so then we can see if this is working there is an error no module named studynet no okay where did i forget to do that probably in the activity views.py file maybe i forgot to import this no it was automatically imported for me but it was done wrong it's supposed to be dot serializers import like that so now the error is gone refresh 
And if I now visit one of the courses, try to go to lesson two. Okay, I see that I get an error here. Can't read properties of undefined. So I did something wrong in the course.view file. This dot route. This was supposed to have a dollar sign there. So refresh. Try to go to lesson two again. Got a new error. Yes, see here, I forgot to add something here. Track started. I think that was the URLs I created. Yes, track started. So refresh one more time. Sorry about the mess. Lesson two. One more error. Activity is track started. Why isn't this found? Okay, so let's go back here. Track started, course log, lessons log. The views, Pi has the request, course log, lessons log, so it should be okay. Course.view, activities, track started. Okay, I got one more error here. It should be activities, so add a typo there. That's probably also in my account from the previous part, like that, sorry. So let's try again, lesson two, one more error. So query set has no object course. Okay, let's go back to use that point again. Okay, where is this? Okay, so I did something wrong somewhere. So the activity was created. We have the course, we have this, and it was started. So it was at least posting to the correct place. Okay, I found the error. The reason here is that we use the filter here, which returns a list and not one object. So here we should actually say get. So we get this object and pass it in there. If not, we have to use many equals true. So now it should hopefully work. So if I go here now, okay, I got a response, but that's just a typo in the course.view. So this was supposed to be response.data. So if I go here now, we get this back. So this is started, this is started, started, and now this is started as well. So if I go here now and refresh, we have all four of them. Nice. So now we can set or automatically track the start of a lesson. And then I want to make it possible to mark a lesson as done. So to do that, we need to create one more view. So go back to views.py. Then I can begin by copying this because we need to have all of this anyways. Rename this to mark as done. So then we get the course and the lesson. And then we can get the activity from the database. So activity equals activity dot object. And then we pass in here who it was created by. And then we get the activity which was created up here. Get created by equals request.user and the course need to be course and lesson sorry lesson equals lesson and then we can say activity dot status equals activity dot done and then we save it activity dot save and then I want to use the serializer, just as we do up here, to pass this back to the front end again. So then we can go to the URL to apply, make a copy of this, replace the beginning here with mark as done, and save. So if I now go to course.view, the last changes needs to be done here. So when we have done this tracking, I want to say, then here I said this dot activity equals response dot data. 
and this hasn't been created yet so we need to add this up here in the data array activity just create an empty object like that and then we need to create one more function we can copy this paste rename this to mark as done mark as done mark as done and then these lines can just be the same because we want to update that activity so if I now scroll up and find the title of the course then I want to show it below here sorry this is not where I want to show it I want to show it in the active lesson title so here I add an HR and then I can say span class tag is oops is warning and then started and I only want to show this if the status of the activity is started so v dash if activity status equals started so if this is true then this will be showing so if I save now go back to one of the lessons yes started but if it's done I want to show a different one so then I can say span class tag is success v else because if it's not started it should be done so done so if I save now it's still the same so now I want to make it possible to click this to mark it as done you can say mark as done to make it a little bit more clear and at click and when we click this I want to call the mark as done function we just created so let's go back and refresh click this click this and then I got back that it was started because if I go into views.py again this was not updated why yes the reason is that of course we need to change the track started with mark as done view so let's try again mark is done and now it's changed to done and we can't click it anymore so now we can track the progress like this nice so then i can go to the to-do list and set this task as well to done and that was it for this part hope you liked it and if you did please hit like below see you in the next video